guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review on a product that I thought would be kind of interesting to review. It's a drugstore brand. It's one of my favorite drugstore brands and it's NYX or NYX, I'm not really sure. I call it NYX, but some people do say NYX. So let me know in the comment box if it's NYX or NYX. But anyways, these are eyeshadow quads. They're little mini eyeshadow palettes that have four shades in them, a variety of matte and shimmer. They're amazingly pigmented. And I thought I would review them with you guys. I have three of them today. And I'm gonna let you guys kind of know if it's worth the $10. These are $10 a piece. And I'm just gonna kind of give you a review and let you know if it's hot or not. So if you want to find out what I think, and if you want to see some up close and personal swatches, then just keep watching. So in this cute little lace satchel bag are the three quads from NYX. I selected three shades that I thought were the most interesting and I thought I would review them with you guys today because I love NYX products. I think they're an amazing brand. They're pretty affordable. They have really cute packaging and their products are always really, really pigmented. These are definitely crazy, crazy pigmented. They do give a lot of kick up as you're applying your brush into the product and also as you're applying it to your eyes, you will experience fallout. So I would recommend you doing your eye makeup first and then your face makeup afterwards so that you can clean up any fallout before applying your face makeup. But I think that when you find powders that have a lot of kick up, especially eyeshadows, it usually means that they're pigmented, that you're gonna get a lot of color payoff. I definitely think these are worth it. They're $10 a piece, so they're about $2 and some change per shadow. And the three palettes that I picked up were the three color schemes that attracted my attention and my preferences the most. So the first one is called Explicit, and this one is really, really pretty because it has a teal shade in it, and I was really drawn to it. It's the palette I'm mostly wearing on my eyes today, and I just really fell for it. I love that teal shade in the bottom corner. Then you have a nice champagne, almost matte bone white, which is great for highlighting the brow bone or the inner tear duct area. And then you have a nice soft brown, and then a more rosy toned warm brown at the top. Beautiful matte shadows, very, very pigmented. The only shimmery one in here I believe is this rosy kind of warm almost orangey brown shade but other than that the rest are matte very very pigmented and the swatches will definitely show you that I love this explicit is the one on my eyes and I, I wouldn't be surprised if I pick up more of these because I'm just so impressed with the quality I really love the packaging it's the exact same packaging as the NYX duo contour and highlight palettes that have like a split pan of a highlight and a bronzer I don't know I just think it's really cute and I was really surprised that I hadn't heard of these before because apparently they've been out since last summer I believe I've never seen them in store and I'm definitely going to be picking up more the next one that I picked up is this one that is called Easy on the Eyes. And this one is more in that neutral family. You have a nice kind of bronzy gold, another kind of cream brow bone highlight, a beautiful deep brown, and then this really pretty shimmery emerald kind of forest green jade shade, which I was really drawn to. I think with dark brown eyes, green colors like this really complement the eyes and just thought this would be a really fun palette to reach for. Again, impressed by the pigmentation. All of the colors really did create a great amount of payoff. Very very creamy and really really easy to blend. I love this one as well. And this one in Color Riot is my favorite because it is the brightest of the bunch. You get a really hot orange in here, a really pretty cranberry wine color, a shimmery matte brow bone highlight, and then this really warm almost orangey brown. Really love this palette. I'm wearing the reddish colors on the lower lash line mixed in with the teal from the other palette. I love Color Riot. I think it's really really pretty. This one would be perfect for the summertime and again pigmentation payoff off the charts. So overall, I would say that these palettes are not only pigmented, which I've probably said that word like 500 times already, but they're amazingly pigmented for the price. You're paying $10 and you're getting four different shades that you can make endless amounts of eye looks with. So definitely worth it in that aspect. I also like the fact that the packaging is very, very sturdy. So you can just chuck these into your purse, into your travel carry-on bag, anywhere you like, and you're not gonna worry about shattering any of these shadows. And the last thing that I think is amazing is the fact that they've done an excellent job of combining matte shadows with shimmer shadows. I mean, I'm, I'm just so impressed. I used the e.l.f. $1 shader brush with this palette to apply this teal shade all over the lid, and literally I barely had to put it on my eyes twice, and I had so much teal color in my eyes. I was really, really impressed. I didn't use any kind of eyeshadow primer. I didn't use any setting spray. Of course, I would suggest using an eyeshadow primer with these shadows or any shadows you're applying to your lids for longer wear and longevity. But as far as testing this product out, I wanted to try them without a primer and impress because without any primer whatsoever, without any concealer, basically nothing on my lids, this is the color payoff that I got. This is the result. 
So for $10, I do think it's a great deal. To some people that might seem pricey because you can buy a Maybelline palette for like 10 bucks and you get, I think 10 or 12 shades, but they're not as pigmented. Some palettes are better than others, but with this, I feel like all four shades are amazing because they're such a unique combination of color. You can make a whole bunch of different looks with it. I combined this teal shade not only on the lid, but underneath the lower lash line. And then I met in the middle with the darker reddish brown. I could do a neutral look with this. I can do an even more bright pop of color funky eye look with it. You can do pretty much anything and if you buy two, three, or four, you'll definitely have an endless amount of combinations to come up with. So I think this product is hot. I definitely want to get some more and I thought I would sit down here and just kind of share with you guys some close-ups, some swatches, and my personal thoughts. And now that I've been wearing these for a couple of days now and this particular eye look for a couple of hours, it lasts. It really does last. And I'm glad I picked them up. It was definitely worth my spending my money. So if you guys were interested in this product and you didn't know what to think, hopefully this video offered some insight, maybe a little bit more information. Let me know if you want to see any more reviews on products from the drugstore or high end. And please be sure to comment below any other video suggestions or requests you may have. I do think I will be filming soon my blush collection. It was requested by a subscriber. So hopefully next week I can sit down and film that for you guys. And just be sure to let me know what you want to see in the comment box below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for taking this time to watch this video and spending a little bit of time with me and I will see you guys in my very next video. Bye guys! Mwah.